Hello everyone, this is a lesson on geometric patterns. They will give you shapes like you see in this pattern there are dots. So they'll give you dots or any shape. So then they call them geometric pattern. So in this pattern you have this is the first term. Then the second term pattern has three. Then the third term pattern has five. Usually you'll have a table that uh, uh, accompany the pattern. In our first question they say we must complete the table. So they are asking us in the first term, this one, how many dots do number of dots? How many dots do we have? We have one dot. In the second term, how many dots? One, two, three, three. In the third term, how many dots? One, two, three, four, five, five. Now you don't have the other patterns, then they ask you the tenth one. You can't figure out the tenth one by, by finding the other ones. So we have to do the second question first. Now, for you to be able to find the other pattern, we need to find the common difference. Now, it depends on that particular question, whether it will be a common difference or a common ratio. There's a video that we made that explained both patterns, the common difference one and the common ratio one. This one, the question already guides us that it's a common difference. So we're going to do number two and find the common difference. Difference means we subtract. And then the common difference, we write it D. So the how do you find the common difference? We subtract consecutive terms. Consecutive means terms that follow each other. You see term 1 is 1. Term 2 is 3. Term 3 is 5. So you take any two terms that follow each other and subtract the bigger term minus the smaller one. So it will be 3 minus 1. It's 2. But it's not common because we just have 1. We have to try it again. So difference 5, which is term 3, minus 3. And my answer is still 2. So it means my common difference is 2. It's common. You get 2 all the time. Difference, you subtract and get 2 all the time. So it's common difference. So we've done number 2. The general formula. We find the general formula by taking any term. Let's say we take the first term. So term 1 is equals to. We're going to multiply the common difference and multiply with a term number. So it's term 1. So we must add a particular number and get the value for term 1, which is 1, right? We're going to try term 2 again. This is the common difference multiplied by the term number. So the term number is 2. Then we're going to add a particular number. When you say add, sometimes you add, sometimes you subtract. And then we must get the value for term 2. Term 2 is 3. Okay. So if this number that we get here is the same, then we have found our general solution. Let's try that. Now, do you remember that our common difference is 2? So it means 2 times 1. And then there's a particular number that I must put here. Then I must get a minus 1. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 plus what will give me a minus 1? 2 minus 1. So it means it's 2 times 1 minus 1 will give me a 1. Let's try with a term 2. Term 2 is 2 times 2 plus a particular number will give me a 3. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 will give me 3. Then it's correct. So my general term is Tn, the term number, is equals to, this is my common difference, which is 2. This is my term number, which is n. Do you remember the term number? Do you see here? And there, and there, and there. So my term number, and then what must I do? I minus 1. So this is my general formula. Okay, we're going to use the general formula to answer the next question. Okay, we're going to look at the first, first question. Find the 10th and the 17th term. The 10th term is this one. So we must find how many dots are in the 10th term. And then after that, we find how many dots are in the 17th term. So we use the general formula that we've just done in question 3. So here's the general formula. So the n is the number of 10. So t10, term 10, 10, is equals to 2. You substitute 10 there, then minus 1. So 2 times 10 is 20, minus 1. Means it's 19. For term 10, you have 19 dots. Term 17 is equals to 2 times 17, minus 1. 2 times 17, 2 times 17, 34, minus 1, means it's 33. 
So you go to the table and complete. It's 19. And then only 17, 10. You have 33 dots. Okay. This is the end of the lesson. This is how you calculate the general term and fill up the gap. Thank you for watching. <laughs>